everybody paul carl here i got a phenomenal video for you this is going to save you so much time but i got to finish this uh, description real quick um so let me uh just type in my description here and get this all done all right <laughs> that was really corny even for me <laughs> So I want to tell you guys what happened here. I use this tool called FastKeys for text replacement and to do some cool stuff. Um, oh, speaking of cool stuff, I got a. I want to check this out. A pair of left in China colonial man and woman. Uh, I wonder if those are worth anything on eBay. They wanted thirty bucks. Uh, looks like nothing's really sold for that. Uh, nah, it's all garbage. All right. Anyway, back to the video. Back to the video. I just gave you guys a double dose, dose of the corniness. Um, so I want to show you guys this tool called FastKeys. What it does is text replacement and it allows you to create custom shortcuts. So as you can see here, I have eBay DESC typed out. I'm going to hit semicolon and space. And what just happened was FastKeys has a shortcut saved where it's, where it's looking for me to type those characters and then when those characters are typed it removes them and replaces it with what I tell it to. So that's how I can type all of this with nine keystrokes instead of hundreds. Um, the same thing is true for other things so like eBay, um, eBay Glass is another shortcut. Sorry it's hard to type with a microphone in front of me. <laughs> um, it puts all that stuff in there, eBay clothes, eBay books, yeah, you can tell it saves me, oh, eBay but you can tell it saves me a lot of time because even eight characters is a little difficult for me, <laughs> um, but anyway, I want to show you the tool. It's a freemium piece of software. The text expander, it comes with a bunch of default stuff. This isn't fully configured because I, I don't really use it that much on this computer because um, I do most of my listing from my phone now um, so I use text replacement which is a feature of the iPhone um, there are Android apps that can do the same thing um, but basically what you would do is you would create a new um, text expander and you just type whatever you want here this could just be blah 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 um, I usually try to use um, phrases that I can remember, so like eBay Glass, eBay Book, eBay whatever, and I, it, I just remember that. And then I end it with a semicolon. You don't have to, but I do that because it's like a developer thing it's from coding, and it just kind of makes it feel better for me. <laughs> um, but then you type in what you want the substitute be, to be. So we'll do test, and I'm going to change the substitute to be this is a test of fast keys. You hit OK. Oh, I have two test entries. All right, this will be test two then. <laughs> you, this is how you know it's my second take. <laughs> oh, man. I shouldn't have admitted that. It's really embarrassing. Um, oops. So you have to save it. And then there you go. That's that's how simple it is. Um, it's super quick to set up, even if you mess up like I just did. Um, for the text expander part, or I mean for the sh shortcuts. So there's a whole bunch of different shortcuts. Um, they're really cool. There's some like uh, if you press C three times really fast, it'll open up the calculator. That's a default one. N N N. Oh, that must have been one of my custom ones on the other computer. But if I hit N three times real fast, it'll open Notepad automatically for me. Just little, like, utilities. And you can have this do it for any software that you want. Um, it, it's very highly customizable. And even on my good setup, I don't use it anywhere near its full capability. Um, but So Alt-G is what I used for um, that shortcut, which is a default one. Normally what it does is when you highlight some text and you press Alt-G, it'll uh, search Google for whatever you um, had highlighted. But you can edit that to search um, on eBay. So this would normally be like the Google URL, but you want to get the eBay URL. So let's do, uh, let's search for keyword, just to make this simple. Um, so here's some results. And of course, you're probably going to want to see the sold listings. So we toggled the sold. And you can see up here, maybe keyword wasn't the best keyword to use, but this is, our, this is the keyword from this search. And all, this, all these uh, strings around this query here, 
these are um, what tell the eBay website um, what to show. So if we copy this URL and we paste it in here, you would replace your uh, Google URL here. Um, where a keyword is, or whatever you use for your search, you just replace it with percent sign, clipboard, percent sign. And that just tells FastKeys to replace this clipboard thing with whatever um, is highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and save. And if I'm not completely stupid, and if I don't mess up a third time in this video, when I hit Alt-G now, it should search for books. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is great if you're sourcing, if you're looking stuff up on uh, um, Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or whatever, and you want to see the solds on these random things and see if they're worth buying for 30 bucks, you can just Alt-G it find out that these things are not worth anything. <laughs> um, no exact match is found. And then the, all the ones that are from this brand are selling for not a whole lot. Um, but anyway, th th this is a tool I just want to show you guys. I think it's really good, especially if you're somebody who uses the desktop or laptop um, browser version of eBay to do a lot of your work. This will save you tons of time. I used to use this all the time before I started listening from the phone primarily. Um, I use text replacement all the time on my phone, and if you've watched my 60 second eBay listing video, um, you'll see there exactly how um, I use text, text expander and how I set it up. Um, but anyway, I don't want to rant too much in this video. Uh, hopefully this was really helpful for you guys, and uh, yeah, there's lots of ways to be creative. This is the FastKeys site, FastKeysAutomation.com. I'm not affiliated, I'm just a very happy customer who's used it for years, off and on. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.